eighth grade awards program. We have a, a kind of an efficient program here, but with awards that we think are, are well worth um, recognizing the work of our students, um, work that you put in as eighth graders and leaders in this building um, you're in your last few days with us, which is, uh, it's sad, but we're really excited for you. And I'll talk a little bit about that at the end. But as always, we want you to conduct yourself with class during this. And as we call these awards, save the applause for the end of the awards, because some of these have a hard fruit. Uh, and my very ourselves out loud. So we'll wait till the end to applaud for that group of awards. Okay? Um, when we call your name for these awards, you will come up this side of the stage over here. Okay? To your left, my right. You will come across and receive your certificate and your envelope. And then you'll walk across. You'll bump elbows with one of our staff members on the leadership team over here. You'll walk down the stairs very carefully and go right back uh, to your seat. And everybody's going to be really respectful. We are recording this. Uh, we'll send this link out to your families and to you guys as well so you can watch it later on. All right, are we ready? Uh, are we ready? Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, we will start off uh, to have Miss Booty come up. Hi, guys. We're first going to start today with the Yoga participants. So, Yoga is a youth leadership program that leadership. It targets 7th and 8th graders in Jackson County and involves students from 9 different schools in our county. This year, due to so many restrictions, YoJack looks very different, but the students still develop leadership skills that they will be able to use in their schools, churches, and outside organizations. They work on skills including understanding and valuing how we are each different, team building, public speaking, philanthropy, consensus building, and the value of serving others. This year, one of the highlights for the students was from partnering with the Community Foundation of Jackson County, hearing three presentations from youth serving organizations, and actually determining through consensus building which organization they wanted to recommend to the Foundation Board to be awarded with a $1,000 annual youth grant. I would like to recognize the YoJack students that represented Seymour Middle School at this time. So again, please come forward. On the stage, Gracie Adams, Haley Burke, Kaden Cox, Ashley Darlich, Anastasia Fields, Brady Clark. Alana Jacoby, Elizabeth Kirby, Max Claypax, Kaylee Lawson, Fabiana Miguel Sebastian, Audrey Newkirk, Brandon Ritchie, Yui Sayana, Mia Sullivan, Ava Sunbury, Parker Thompson, Ty Tormellon, Macy Olry, Phoebe Underwood, Clara Ramsey, and Emily Wimley. You guys will all come up and receive your certificate. Congratulations, guys.
probably take a few notes in her public speaking. So congratulate those two with me now.
remember to hold your applause till the end. They go through. Miller Flickham. Now hold your applause, please. Elijah Downing. Elizabeth Kirby. Willow Nellon. Alexis Thompson. Macy Brewer. Jackson Brock. Xavier Du Bois. Kyla Ellerby. Anastasia Fields. Eli Fox. Nicholas Brady. Please stay quiet, guys. Everybody deserves to be recognized. Brady Hart. Come on, Brady. Patrick Hatfield. Jay Herbert. Seth Jeffrey. Devon Jackson. Damian Lawson. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Chloe Long. Apollo Allman. Carson Pauley. Jocelyn Pruitt. Wesley Crawford. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please, these students have worked very hard for their grades. Please give them the respect they deserve by not talking. Wesley Crawford and William Crawford. Riley Ramsey. Carly Sprague. Emma Cornellan. Landon Byer. Christopher Williams.
all, please come up and get your certificate. Addie Brock. Haley Burke. Kylie Cooper. Maya Cortez. Ashley Darlich. Adriana Engel. Alana Jacoby, William Mahoney, Audrey Newker, Braxton Parker, Ismael Santiago Cruz, Cole Simmons,
Danilo Gaspar, and Ignacio Martin.
the, the hard work of a person, the dedication of a person. And out of all the years of school, this might be the most difficult that you're ever going to see. Out of all the years of your life, this might be one of the more difficult that you're ever going to see. Hopefully it is. But this has given you a test, and many of you have packed with flying colors. The effort that I've seen this year out of some of you going above and beyond um, just to make sure that you are the students you need to be. Um, but I'm very grateful for that, and I'm hoping many of the rest of you uh, will continue to carry on that. Um, and see that example as something that you can set yourself for, not only in school, but in the rest of your life. Uh, with that, the top students for social studies for this year for U.S. history, um, all of these students very dedicated, very hardworking, and uh, they again, went above and beyond to make sure that their work was in a top order and uh, their explanations and their examples in class for that as well. Uh, Patty Brock, Alana Jacoby, Ashley Garlich, and Ava Summary.
I would like to take a minute to say congratulations to those of you who traveled to Washington, D.C. week before last. You guys did an exemplary job of maintaining our legacy and our reputation. You had an awesome trip, and I'm very proud of you. And those of you who were on Motor Coach number one, Daddy Greg sends his regards. All right. From my classes, those receiving certificates for above and beyond academic achievement this year are Phoebe Underwood, Mia Sullivan, Emily Lindley, and Valeria Latos Gallegos.
last award uh, is a new award here, and it's one we'll continue to do. And if you were to talk to uh, our teachers, or if you were to see our uh, social media online, you'll see the, the phrase, whatever it takes. You'll see it on some of the things we put up around the school. Um, and you know, there's a lot, a lot of schools all have what we have too, with fancy vision and mission statements, and, and they're all important. But when you really, really sum it up, when you go on to high school, when you go on to college, when you go out to the job world, the people that are successful, they're whatever it takes for them. They're people who put the work in. They're people who uh, dedicate the time needed. They're people who understand that, that they control their circumstances. Uh, they don't blame others for their lot in life right now or things that don't go well. Whatever it takes, people to get it done. No excuses. To me, that's the highest honor that you can have because you know they're going to be successful. And it's hard to be whatever it takes person. It is not easy. If it were easy, everybody could be that. And so we started that award here this year, and it's to honor students from each team, one student from each team, who is the top whatever it takes person. Now, there's probably many of you that were considered this. But only one can earn. I hope we all strive to be whatever it takes person. And so, for superchargers, the highest award we give, the whatever it takes award, goes to Phoebe Underwood.
Don't let those be an excuse. Don't let those hamper you. Work through them. We are very, very proud of you. Uh, I want to have a great last week with all of you. Let's remember that. Let's go out with class, and dignity, uh, and leadership. Have a great day, and this concludes our program. One more round of applause for all of you.